I am Wander001, and this is the Canon Vixia HFR400. I have a few other videos out about this particular camcorder, uh, which I will link to over here somewhere. Uh, main review, user interface review, and sample videos here. This video is actually to address a lot of the questions that I've been getting about the uh, Canon Vixia here on my other video, so I'm trying to just gather all the frequently asked questions and put them into one video, so hopefully somebody else out there who is thinking about the same question that somebody else has already asked will find it useful. Uh, I'm not going to say any names of people who've asked the questions, and I won't be uh, using their exact wording. I'm just going to paraphrase some of the, the questions that I get more frequently, and hopefully you'll find this helpful. One of the first things is Something I actually forgot to mention in my first review of it, the LCD panel is adjustable. So you can do the uh, selfie position as well as other rotating positions. Uh, normally, I don't do the selfie unless I'm filming uh, myself in front of the camera. Uh, what I use the rotating screen for is holding the camera above my head and aiming the screen down so I can take better shots. All right, the next question I'm actually going to group two together. The first one is, can you film with the LCD panel closed? And the answer is yes. You just have to go in and change the settings, which I will walk you through in a moment. Uh, the other thing would be incorporated with that, can you have the LCD panel out and have it turned off and film? That answer, as far as I found, is no. You can have the panel shut and record, but you cannot have the panel out and open and still be recording without the screen being on. Uh, so for those of you who are interested in saving power, there's options that I'm going to show you how to lower the LCD screen uh, brightness so you can conserve power that way. And then I'll also show you the option you need to turn on in order for, in order for you to be able to film with the LCD panel closed. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up the camera and this is part of the option that you actually need which is to not have the device power on when the LCD screen is open and hopefully this will work out because apparently I need to change the batteries uh, so we're gonna try and do this very quickly so we go to the home button here go to other settings here and you'll have to forgive me I'm using my old camera to do this so Hopefully it stays in focus well enough that you can see. Uh, so we'll start with actually changing the brightness. So we come over here to the second tab and we scroll down until we see LCD brightness and we click on the button here and then we can drag this or click and it will adjust the brightness of the screen. Uh, there's also one click down is the LCD back. Sorry about that flash. Apparently I could not make it on battery so had to go plug it in. Uh, where we were before was LCD backlight. So if you see there on the right hand side, it's listed as being H, which is high. So if you wanted to conserve some battery power, you would click and you can turn it to normal or dim. And those are your different outputs. So that'll help you save a little bit of battery if you want to use the LCD screen in the open position. All right, so the next option is to be able to film with the LCD screen closed. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to the third tab here, and you are going to scroll down a bit of a ways. And select power on using LCD panel. By default, when you get the camcorder, it should be enabled. And what that does is, I will enable it and go back and close out of this. So what happens is when I close the LCD panel, the red light came on only because I'm plugged in at the moment. As I said before, I need to charge it. Uh, but the camcorder is now off. Can't hit the record button, nothing happens. When I open it up, camcorder powers back on. And lets me know that this lens cover is closed only because I don't want to film a pile of junk on my table, and now we're back into being able to record. So what we do is we come here, we go back, and I will cheat and go the uh, short way, just go down the list the 
opposite way. I'm going to bring this a little closer. Hopefully it'll come into focus. Turn off the power on using LCD screen and close. So what this will allow us to do is if I hit the record button, you'll see there red dot indicates that's recording and the blinking red light in the back of the camera camcorder means that it's recording as well. I can come along here, close the LCD panel and we're still recording. Uh, so what that allow you to do is that allow you to frame up whatever you want to record and if you wish to conserve as much battery as you can, just close the LCD panel. It's not on. If I sneak it open there, you see there's no bright shining lights because I do have the backlight up to high, but it is recording. Open it back up. LCD screen uh, turns back on and you can see that it has been recording continuously for 37 seconds. I'm going to stop recording now and move on to the next question. The next question I often get is, can I change or how do I control audio levels for the camcorder? If you're in auto mode, as I am currently, it's listed as auto, you cannot change or control the mic levels. To do this, you have to click on the auto and then scroll down to programmable or programmed, hit okay. And then come over here to the oops, quick settings. Scroll down until you find mic level, select it. You'll notice that even in programmable mode, it defaults to automatic. Just click on manual and you can see right there, it's showing you the mic levels as I talk. You can adjust it via the toggles on the side. And when you're done, you hit X and it will display on the LCD screen as you film. So you'll be able to see your mic levels. And then if you want, go back scroll down and adjust as needed. Uh, part of the reason that they display this while you are still in the setting is so that you can talk or have the scene playing out and adjust your decibels as needed. And that's how you take care of mic levels. The next item that I've been asked is, how can I get the date and time displayed on the LCD or on the video while I'm recording it? There is a method to do this, or if you use, use an editing program afterwards, that metadata is part of the video file and you can bring that up in post. If you want to have it on the screen or in the video directly from the camcorder, it's a few steps to do. First off, we have to come up to the home and we have to go to record settings because this trick will only work if you are in AVC HD. So we switch over to AVC HD formatting. And then we have to get out of auto mode because we need to go into baby mode. Once we're in baby mode, after that loads up, apparently I have to change the time because I'm not actually filming this at three in the morning. Uh, okay, so once we're in baby mode, we come over here, come over to the effects and then you hit the baby picture. Again, I hope this is coming in because this old uh, point and shoot camera has seen better days apparently. So it's the image of the baby. Baby. As I'm not clicking it. Picture of the baby. And then here you see date and time as well as other options that you could do for the baby. Uh, you know, month, inches, pounds. But what you're going to do is you're going to hit date and you're going to hit time and then back. And then right there you'll see date and time will be displayed. Once the date and time are there, uh, I'll actually open up my viewfinder so you can see the lovely mess on my table, but uh, that it actually is displaying the date and time. Uh, you can hit the record button and there it will be recording. If you don't want the bar down here, all you have to do is hit this and it will minimize it. Now, like I said, this is kind of a workaround only because I have not been able to find moving the date and time uh, to the lower right, which is customary with other uh, aftermarket products when you just use the metadata, which will just throw it up in the corner there. So this is one way if you're thinking about doing it. Uh, it's long, it's more technical than it needed to be. But if you want, that's how you would do that. All right, one of the last questions I get or have gotten quite frequently is can you use this camcorder with an external monitor? And I'll admit this question's kind of thrown me in the past only because when I think of a monitor, 
I'm thinking of a computer monitor. Um, I actually don't have a desktop computer. I have a laptop. Uh, so when I hear external monitor, I kept thinking a desktop monitor for a computer and it lacks the hookups that I would think are required in order for you to use an external monitor with this camcorder. So I'm here to tell you, if you have the correct hookups, you can use the camcorder with an external monitor. Now, what do I mean by hookups? If we open it up here and hopefully it comes into focus, uh, you'll notice that there is the HDMI out. Now, using the included HDMI cable that came with the camcorder because it is, it's not a standard HDMI size. So using this, you'd be able to hook up to anything that has an HDMI uh, port. Now, the other option is here, we have the, uh, the inline mic or the AV out or headphones out. Uh, by default, this port is set for AV out. So what that means is if you have AV cables, which are cables, your standard red, white, and yellow, if you have a TV or monitor of some sort that accepts these hookups, you'll be able to use the camcorder with these hookups. Now, if you notice the camcorder does not have red, white, and yellow out, it's got a single port. Uh, so this is actually the cable that came with my Roku and it does fit in here. So using this, I can hook up the AV cables to a TV or monitor that has those ports. Now, you will have to go out and purchase a cable similar to this. Uh, it's an added expense, but if that's what you wanna do, it's not that much more. Uh, there's also options that you have to make sure, make sure there are options that are enabled. So what we'll do here is we'll go home. Options, other options, other settings, and this last one here and scroll down to the bottom. Actually, it probably would have been faster if I went the other way. And we come to AV headphones. Now by default, like I said, that port, come on, click. That port will be set to AV out, which I apologize is a little difficult to see. I'll switch it over to headphones only because the lighting's a little bad today. Uh, so by default, it's set for AV out. If you wanted to use it for headphones, you'd have to come in to this setting and manually change it. So if you get the cables and you just stick them in there, you'll automatically be set for AV out, which is kind of nice. And again, like I said, I've had some people ask me this question. Uh, again, I thought computer monitor, not using an external TV or a CTR or what have you. Now, the last question that I get is how do I get my videos off of the camcorder and onto my computer so I can edit it, view it, send it to friends and family? Uh, there's a few ways to do this. Uh, the first way is if you take a USB cable like this one and hook it up into the USB port and you never put these in correctly the first time, so hook it into the USB port and then plug the other end into your computer you will be able to access the video files on here. The other way is if your camera is off, flipping up and taking out the SD card and putting it into a SD card reader on your computer. If you don't have an SD card reader, you can get yourself one of these. What it is is an SD card converter. So you put the SD card in there and now you have a USB input that you can plug into your computer similar to just connecting the camcorder to the computer itself. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the on-screen of what you're gonna look for. Once you connect the camcorder or insert the SD card into a card reader or use that bridged little device that you plug the SD card into, uh, you're going to navigate to your start button and then click on computer. Now this is for Windows computers. Uh, sorry guys, with Macs, I don't have a Mac and this is what I have to work with. I did forget to mention, when you plug in directly from the camcorder, you do have to make sure that you turn the camcorder on or else the camcorder will not be picked up by your computer. Uh, so like I said, you go to the start button, you click on computer and you look for here, in my case, removable disk E. 
double click, opens up the foldering system of the SD card for, that you use with your camcorder. Double click over here, and this brings you to your MP4 files. As you can see, these are sequentially numbered. If I come over here and double click, uh, these, this is a you know the raw video for a uh, headset review that I have up. Now, what you do is you can click and hold and drag it uh, to your computer wherever you want it. You can right click on it and copy the item, move the item. That's how you would bring it over to your computer. And then from there, you can start YouTube, go to your uh, channel, hit the upload button in the upper right hand corner, unless they change it in the future, and then just direct it to this file and you would upload it to YouTube. Now, if you film in AVC HD, went back a little too far, those files are saved in a different location. You have to come up here to private, then click on AVC HD, BDMV, and then come down here to stream. This is where those files are located. So similar principle, click and drag to move it, right click, copy, move, however you want, wherever you want on your computer, and then the same process to upload to YouTube if you want. So these have just been a few of the frequently asked questions that I've had on some of my other videos uh, regarding this camcorder. Hopefully you found them helpful in some way, shape, or form. If you have any other questions or comments that you'd like me to answer, I will do so to the best of my abilities if you leave them in the area below. Uh, I've been Wanderer001. Thanks for watching.